Hey, it's me. Um, <clears throat> so I'm interested in, I gotta take care of all this, okay? I just had a birthday. <laughs> My arm did some weird little flappy thing I'm not comfortable with. <laughs> And also, you know, I do my hikes with my friend Jill, and she doesn't have an ounce of body fat on her. And I climb really well, but she's definitely ahead of me. And I think she might take little stops just so so her friend can breathe. <laughs> but um, I've been to a gym before, and it was fine, and I got results. And But when I say fine, I couldn't do it now. This was years ago. I could never force myself to do it now because <clears throat> it's boring and I have a feeling that you guys are like this too. You're going to have to tell me because I hate putting stuff on other people and making assumptions. I just have a feeling that because we got, a, we got so much going on and we're clever, you're not going to trick us into doing something we don't want to do. We're not going to do what everybody else is doing and when I would go to the gym it's also, you can't really be an introvert necessarily. I mean, I would go and this was probably like, oh, maybe like four or five years ago. I did not have my iPad. I had, a little, I had a little mini, but I couldn't read on it. So I would bring like actual old fashioned books and I would stick my little nose in there. And don't you know, people would still talk to me. <laughs> and I was trying so hard to lose myself in the book because I really hate like monotony big time. I would prefer to be doing like eight things at once. That's why I used to work in the restaurant business. It was very satisfying that way. I could do like, you know, seven things ahead and it really challenged me and it was fun. I need time to pass. I, I, I don't know if that's an INFJ thing. I, I, I worked in an office once too bored the crap out of me. To pass the time, I would clean windows. I would do stuff I wasn't even supposed to do. But anyway, back to the gym thing. So I had joined and then I just couldn't do it. And then I thought, well, maybe it's because I'm, you know, a little bit of an introvert and I would prefer to stay home. So then I got um, an incline stepper and I tried to get lost in my videos on YouTube. And I don't know why I still couldn't do it. You would think if you distracted me, you would think logically, which is practically useless. Logic says, logic said to me, if you can watch a YouTube video on the couch, you can watch a YouTube video on the, the stepper. And that's a sensor thinking thing. That was my husband in my head. That's not me because I tried that and it, it sucked. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I, I don't know. I just, I need a lot. Like, you have to entertain me. Um, and that just didn't do it. I think I was just fighting, like, the idea of this foreign, you know, thing in my room. And I don't know. It was just boring. But when I would, obviously, when I go out, you know, you see me hiking with, with Jill, it's a whole other story. And then I thought about it, and I was like, oh, this is how children play. I spent so much time in the woods when I was a kid, and I would go without shoes. <laughs> I would never do that now. I also used to swim in the lake, which I would never do now either. I mean, there are snakes and turtles and stuff in there. But um, yeah, so it was, the, the woods was my playground, and I still like that. But. You know, Jill does that all the time, and she likes a variety, so she can't just take me all the time. That wouldn't be fair to her. I know that she would like me to go by myself, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I like somebody to talk to. Talk to. I'm, not, I'm only 11% over the threshold for being an introvert. I really, I took the Enneagram thing, and there's like, you either like to be solitary, you like to be in a group, or you like what I like, which is I kind of treasure the one-on-one -on -one stuff. I like that kind of intimacy. So that explains to me how um, I like going with my friend and I don't like going by myself. And I don't even like being in a group. I really like the one-on-one. -on -one. So I was like, oh, what do I do about this? Because 
you know, I, I, I had my birthday. All right, I'm 46. <laughs> I just say it like that, not because there's any shame in it, but I, I don't really like numbers and, you know, you're as old as you feel. So I want to make myself feel really, really good. I want to feel better than I felt in my 20s. So I don't, I don't care about that so much, but I just had to think about, well, I like, you know, I would like to eat my um, organic cashew ice cream. <laughs> and I would like to eat toast on the weekends. And I haven't been able to do it because I, I don't do anything, you know. I'm all, like, up here. Um, so you have body, mind, soul. I am all about, uh, I like thinking and I like my spiritual stuff. And sometimes I'm so into that, I forget I even have a body. So this is kind of my theme, like my life number theme is a three. I don't know if you know about that stuff. You can do it, um, you can probably Google it. It has to do with your name, the letters and numbers in your name. And this makes sense though. It would make sense that my number is three and that signifies balance, body, mind, soul. And I have not licked that but I would like to. So I wanted to go to the gym. And luckily, my answer was, um, I don't know if you guys have this stuff. This man, I think he's so smart. He He's a trainer and he made, he calls it Misfits Boot Camp. And then he has us do like all these different things. In 45 minutes, you bust your ass and I burn 400 calories. So you might be flipping ropes or winging around kettlebells or <laughs> all fun stuff you know like something you do as a kid and um i knew i knew that i could get on board with because you you're gonna have to impress me you're gonna have to entertain me and I, i'm kind of curious is that isn't is that us is that us for you because it makes sense to me like i'm not gonna do what everybody else does i i, I just need you know layers and different dynamics and you gotta keep you gotta keep me interested and and this did and I was like oh cool um you know now I can eat stuff <laughs> and not even bad stuff I mean I can't even eat an avocado you know it's like a third of my calories if I don't do anything all day so I don't know maybe if you thought about these things and hopefully it helped maybe to listen to me or you can answer my questions um, Oh, you know where else I got this idea? The high school friend, one of my very, very best friends, a male, um, he came to town and then I got the idea he was an INFJ, I had him take the test, yes he is. And he just got super fit. He was always thin, but I don't know, it's like he just really took to it. And then the power of influence, and honest to God, this is how it works, um, it kind of lit my fire. You know, so that's cool too. Maybe I could let your fire. <laughs> um, so that's about it. And I'm actually gonna do um, that. We're doing our countdown, so I think I'm gonna do that as soon as I get off with you here. I know you guys like like FaceTime. <laughs> it makes it it makes it authentic. And speaking of influence, if my friend Huey, I hope I said that right. Huey, he's one of my little commenters. INFJ. Um, you inspired me. You did not say anything just by your example. I watch your videos and you, you give your FaceTime every time and it helped me be less shy. So see, this is how influence works. That's why we say, um, <clears throat> you, this is how you change others just by being an example. You don't tell them what to do. You don't say, I think you should do this. You just be you. And then, the, and then if they want to pick that up, they can. And this is truly how truly how we change others by just just doing your thing and then they have their free will they can they can copy that if they would like or they can ask you about it too um but that's it so i just wanted to say that in case you know maybe somebody's like feeling like i was like like people would think i was lazy but no i'm not lazy i'm just i'm sorry i'm too smart for your your crappy stuff <laughs> you have to impress me and and I have to respect you and I have to believe that you know more than me and I will I will allow myself to be led, but you have to have, um, my again, my respect. And then this is how this particular gym is run. There's a, a professional trainer 
and he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. And then, then I let the other person take over. A lot of times I'm, I want to control the situation, but if, so, if I think somebody knows more than me, have at it. I will shut my mouth and learn from you. I kind of wonder if that's one of our things as well. But, oh well, you guys can tell me if you want, and if not, that's okay too. <laughs> All right, and talk to you later. Bye.